Wanting to make a fake chocolate pie prop? Well, by the end of this video, you will know how to make a realistic chocolate pie that looks amazing in just a few simple steps. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl. If you are new around here, I want to give a big hi and hello to you. I am so glad that you are here and I hope that you enjoy the content and the fun that we have on this channel. After the success of my last video, both here and on TikTok, I decided that I was going to try and make another fake pie, but this time I was going to try a slice of pie and I was going to make a chocolate one. So if you are keen to see that, then stick around. Be sure to watch till the end of the video because the finished product looks amazing. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and hit that bell next to it so that you can stay notified of every time I upload and with all that said and done let's jump straight into the video. Alrighty now I am really excited because I finally got the Crayola air drying clay that I've been waiting so long to get. Oh, I just love the Crayola air drying clay. Uh, if you saw my last couple of videos you would have seen me complaining about the one that I was using it's just not the same. I personally think that this is just amazing. I love the consistency of it and even even though it takes a little bit longer to dry, I feel like it is so worth it. This video is not sponsored, but the Crayola air drying clay is where it's at and that's what we're going to be using today. So I've made a little paper cutout, which is basically the dimensions for the slice that we want. And so I'm going to roll out my air drying clay and basically cut the base and then I'm going to extend it along to make the edge and then fold the edge up. Now that I've got my piece of clay that's a little bit longer than the triangle, I'm going to bend up the crust basically and this is going to give me a good guide for the height of the middle. And then so I'm going to take some air drying clay and just pack it in the centre and mould it into another triangle to make the filling. So now that we've got this middle bit, I'm going to now place it on top of the base that we already made and then fold that back up again. And make sure because it's cracked a little bit on the bottom now and that's okay. I'm going to go in with some water in a minute and just press that in, mold that all in so it's nice and firm together. Now of course we do have a lot of excess on the top here, that's okay. I'm going to flatten it out as best we can. And then I'm going to trim a little bit off the top, just with my knife here, like that. I'm going to then roll some of it over to make it look like a crust edge. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight either. A lot of tins that you make pies and things in are not. So now, that is done and I'm going to put it aside to dry so that's actually probably going to take a couple of days to dry because it is quite thick. Okay so here we are on a totally different day. This is now completely dry and so we're going to paint it and now I'm going to do the old trick that I like by mixing some bicarb soda and I think in America you guys call it baking soda. Mixing some bicarb soda and this gold paint as well as this raw sienna, just a little bit of that and some white to make the crust colour. And I'm going to paint the crust first, let that dry, uh, and then I'm going to paint in the chocolate with some brown paint and that bicarb. Now what the bicarb does is it just gives it a bit more texture and I did this when I made my fake uh, Christmas pudding video. So you guys can go and check that one out after you finish watching this one. If you 
are enjoying this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help me to get found on YouTube. And be sure to stick around until the end of this video because we still have got a lot of steps until we get to the finished product. And if you are enjoying this video and any other content that I have put out here on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and bell so that you can be notified of every time I upload. Also, let me know in the comments if there's any kind of props or videos or fake foods that you'd like me to make because I always want to make content that you enjoy. And speaking of which, someone actually commented on one of my TikToks last week to say that they wanted me to make a fake blueberry pie. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments down below. This is so thick now. It's almost like a paste, but that's what we want. All right, so that crust is done. It actually looks like a, um, a piece of cheesecake at the moment, which I feel like would be a really interesting um, one to try. So if you are interested in seeing me do a fake cheesecake, let me know. Now, it looks very, very golden in the light, but actually it's it's actually a bit darker than this. But you can see that the bicarb soda has just created a bit of texture, which is making it look like crumbly pastry, which is what we really wanted. So now we're going to mix together the chocolate color and the bicarb to do the chocolate on here. I've made this mixture in the middle and now this is a little bit runnier than the other one, which I don't mind. I don't want the chocolate to look as textured as the uh, base does. It is a little bit runnier because of the Semco paint, which I use, which is a little bit um, thinner of a paint. So now I'm going to take a paint brush and just brush that onto the base. This is applying super duper well. I love the consistency. Of course, you can switch that up by using less or more bicarb soda or play with the ratio as much as you want, but I really like this in particular. And that won't it won't be as defined once we're finished and we've covered it in Mod Podge. So don't worry too much about those little granules because yes, they will show up, but I promise you they will blend in nicely in the end. Okay, so this is done and I'm gonna pop it aside to dry. Now, luckily because of the bicarb soda, it won't take that long. I'm really happy with how it is turning out so far, but don't go away because I am going to continue on this after it's dry. Now, if you guys have been following me for a little while, you would know that I have struggled in the past with using piping bags and such things, especially if you guys checked out this video and the disaster that that was, then you would have seen firsthand the struggles. And if you guys wanna check that out after this one, feel free because it is certainly good for a laugh. But I've been doing some research into the matter and I learned that when people do icing in piping bags, they often roll the icing in glad wrap first. So I'm going to give that a try and put my wall filler in a glad wrap and then into the piping bag and see if that makes a difference. And confirm the glad wrap method works so I feel like a big idiot but hey at least we know have a solution and all this is now dry so let's go and put a little cream on top and voila you just take that off and then you pull out your glad wrap and then you have a clean piping bag. This is genius. I've just gone and covered it in a matte Mod Podge just to seal all that together. I am super happy with how it turned out and I just love using that bicarb soda method because it really does give such a rich texture and you don't have to just put this on clay, you can put it on uh, jars and vases and things like that just to give it a bit of a rougher texture. You can use other types of granules as well. I actually used sand in my video when I made fake terracotta so if you guys want to check that one out after this one, feel free. When it came to the piping, I feel like it was literally just like a well duh, Captain Obvious kind of thing and you guys are probably watching going well yeah Jen, that's pretty obvious. 
but to me it wasn't. But you know where I found that out? On TikTok. And speaking of TikTok, if you guys want to see more of my content more frequently and more often, feel free to jump on to either TikTok or Instagram and follow me over there because I'm constantly putting out content and some behind the scenes stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like button to let me know and also hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss a single one of my uploads and I will see you guys next time. Bye.